What's up, everybody? This is Kyrez again, and um, if you haven't seen my updated trade binder video that I just uploaded, it's going to be somewhere up here, down here, to the side. Somewhere in this video, I'm going to post a link so you guys can see that. But in the honor of Christmas and honor of the new year, um, I'm here to bring you a present. Yes, I'm not Santa Claus, nor am I anything resembling Santa Claus. But, I mean, we've been through a lot of formats. For those that have been playing Yu-Gi-Oh! for a while, a lot of decks up top that have been surprising, like um, Fish, OTK, uh, Frognarks, Frog OTK, Sabres, Glads, actually Glads have like top, they, they're never actually top, uh, Gemini City, Black Wings, Light Swarms, all that stuff. And in honor of that, and this past two formats, I think it was, I'd just like to share with you my favorite deck of the year. I actually have three, so it's going to be kind of a long video. I'm kidding. I'm, I'm going to make it short as possible, but yeah. When I first started playing again, like after the beatdown era and period of playing with like Gemini Elf and Jinzo and like all of that card, all of those cards when um, I think it was Fair Servant and like a couple packs after that, that's when I stopped. But when I got back, I, I had a choice on eBay whether it's whether I would start playing Black Wings or Light Swords. At first I was like, okay, cool. I guess I'm going to pick Light Swords since they've topped and they seem consistent and it doesn't seem like anything's going to stop them. I mean, it was missing one JD, one Wolf, the Celestia, but it had everything else. It had the Charges, the Rikos, the Lilas, the, all that stuff. And I was like, okay, I'm going to go buy this. But after like 10 minutes of like play testing with both of them, Black Wings and Light Swords, I was like, uh, I don't like milling, first of all. Secondly, I've lost so many times and, and got gotten like a deck out loss that I've been frustrated with the deck itself. Even though I get beat by it, I beat it, etc. Cetera, et cetera. So in the end, I chose Black Wings, as you can see. Yeah, it's just Black Wings because it was versatile, it had more improvement, luckily there was more support for it, etc, etc. Also, when I bought this, it wasn't like, like dark armed and like all the epical stuff in it. It was like bare bone with like the, uh, the common stuff like Sirocco, Kalut, Blizzards, uh, Dark Creator in place of dark arm. No Icarus attacks, no Delta Crows, none of that. None of the cards of Black Feathers or Lord of Darkness. I actually had to buy those stuff, so I built it. I, I've enjoyed playing with it throughout this whole year. I've gone to YCS, regionals, locals, with my friends. I played Black Wings for a while, and I, I just love the deck. I like the versatility, how you actually have to have some sort of skill to actually play it, to play it right, uh, the timing, all that stuff. So yeah, enough about Black Wings. Now we're off to the second deck. The second deck I got was surprisingly the light deck. Well, finished at least. Um, I've been around like the the light format for a while now. Since like when I got back, it was either light swings or black wings. So those are the decks I practically paid attention to. And then when my friend brought um this Gemini City deck. When he first had it, uh, I was like, wow, it actually plays pretty good. So I've built with him. I've lost a couple of times. I've won a couple of times. Friendly competition, you know how that is. Then when he sold it to me, I was like, wow, thanks, dude. <laughs> and I've been playing with this ever since. If I couldn't play Black Wings or the cards that I have right now and like locals or stuff, because I don't have the synchros for scraps either way. But yeah, um, Gemini City, I loved it. Because uh, it had outs for pretty much everything except high beaters. If I couldn't draw Smashing, Solemn, Dark Hole, any of that stuff, then I was practically going to lose. But if I can if I can beat them down, I'm good. If I can uh, make it into that stun variant with like the Thunder Kings and the Banishers and like the Conservated Light against Dark Decks, I'm good. Like, I'm so happy. Yeah, that's my second deck. Then my third favorite deck. Actually, it's my first now, is Scraps, because nobody has really topped with it, 
Uh, I built it from scratch, pretty much. Like, I decided to build scratch because I bought three chimeras off of eBay. And I was like, okay, I'm going to base it off this since I have the goblins, the, the golems, and, like, uh, the beasts and stuff. So I was like, okay, cool. I'm going to buy this, 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 this. Fortunately, I was lucky enough to complete it with, like, the monks and, like, the cards from my other decks. I can play it this month. I can play it next month. I can play it. When, however long it takes for scouts to be good. I'm going to play for that long. That's why I made that, that segment. But anyways, uh, as you know, I need the, the, the dragons and the twins. Anyways, <laughs> besides that. But scraps, I love how... The reason I love scraps is because um, it loops pretty good. No one has ever topped with it, like, like actually won with it. So... If I'm able to win the regionals with it, I'll, I would be practically the first one, probably, just saying. Anyways, um, I love it. Uh, it beats most of the decks out there. You side Conservated Light against Dark decks, even though they find ways around it. It's pretty good. Uh, Banisher is just... Banisher of Radiance just kills me. Macro decks kill me. But if I can get that... First turn scab dragon a twin I'm I'm good, like uh most of my hands are, are practically. Uh, it's versatile enough for me to play the way that I want to and not have to be frustrated like with black wings where it's like, my hand is full of traps and magic so how am I supposed to play this at least this one it's like okay I can play foolish, I can do Sark I can reborn it etc etc, all, all of that stuff. Uh, another reason why I like scraps because, you know, uh, first in scrap dragon, the monk loop. Thank you to Spoofy29 for that. Uh, I, I love you, man. No homo. Anyways, <laughs> thank you for that. I, I actually didn't realize that until I actually did it. I was like, okay, cool, 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 cool. So, yeah, um, those are my three favorite decks. What are your guys' favorite decks? I mean, I, I just want to know, like, what is it? Or why? How long have you been playing with it? You know, did you guys watch this video? I actually want to know that, the answer to it. And yeah, have a Merry Christmas, guys. Happy New Year. Uh, have fun trading, doing whatever you want with your family. You know, yeah, peace, YouTube.